Hi guys, Arwen here, Success and Abundance Coach for Women Entrepreneurs. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about self-care and moving into your body and feeling what is real for you and what is authentic for you and, and really getting in touch with that part of yourself. So yesterday I had scheduled a certain time uh, during my day that I was going to sit down and record some of these videos for you guys and you know write some blog posts and some things that have been percolating in my head and basically getting it out on paper and on film. And I sat down and I let my mind take over and I felt like I needed to create a quote unquote plan because I wanted to be productive in the hours that I had yesterday. And so I started to kind of map out what I wanted to talk about and then I kind of got lost and thought, well, maybe I really need to have this be a little more themed, a little more structured. You know, I, I'm a little bit all over the place sometimes, right? When you're really intuitive and you're really fee feeling based, you can tend to be a hot mess. And I am occasionally a hot mess. And so I thought I would take my hot mess self yesterday and put myself in some sort of like routine and that this would make everything like merry and bright. And it didn't. And at the end of my time block of four hours, I, uh, maybe it was three and a half hours, but anyway, at the end of the time block, I realized the insights that I had and what I came to, I could have come to in about 15 minutes had I been aligned <laughs> instead of taking several hours to be a mess and get this much done, right? And so that I realized was perfect. And that was what I needed to make a video about. Um, today. So um, my message to you is always remember to be in alignment and to be in alignment with yourself because when you are in divine flow then you create everything easier and with more grace and more love and that is the whole reason that um, if you are like me you want to have a business in the first place. It's because you want to create more divine love in your life. You want to have more divine freedom you want to do more of what you love to do and it makes you feel good and you want to express yourself more authentically and being a hot mess is sometimes part of it but when you are a hot mess remember to go back into the flow because being in the flow is so important and yeah that's the message that I wanted to give you guys today so after what had happened yesterday. I got up today and the first thing that I did is I realized, you know, I was out of alignment yesterday and I didn't accomplish very much because my body on some level was rebelling, right? My mind was trying to make me do something and work in a way that didn't feel inspiring to me and, and didn't feel good to me. So a lot of times we will easily be able to spot some circumstance or event that is taking us out of our bliss, but we're not as quick to notice when our ego is the one that is taking us out of our bliss, okay? And so my ego was taking me out of my bliss yesterday in the sense that it was like, oh, we need to do it this way and this way so we actually are productive. And then what happened is I wasn't productive at all. So what I want you to remember is that doing your business should feel like breathing. It should feel natural. It should feel like grace and ease. The energy should go in and it should go out. It should go in and it should go out. And if you're not feeling that, then you're not in the state of flow. And when you're in the state of flow, that is where everything happens. That is where, that is where you create worlds. Okay? So it doesn't take a lot of time to create your business and do the things that you want to do. And it doesn't take, need to take a lot of time for you to do social media postings that you want to do if you're doing them from flow and you're doing them from inspiration. And it doesn't need to take a lot of time to get your business up and running and to attract clients if you are attracting it from flow and you're attracting it from being in alignment with yourself. Because when you are in alignment with you, you are radiating out on the heart level, right? you are just sending cascading waves out into the universe. And that is the energy that creates worlds. And when you are in your head, you're not doing that. You're not creating worlds. You're not cascading anything. You're being a hot mess, like I was yesterday. 
that doesn't create world that doesn't get your business up and running faster. And the reason why it takes, or at least we quote unquote think that it takes so long to start a business and it takes so long to be successful is because we spend most of that time in our head and out of the divine state of flow. But then we see other people, sometimes, not all the time, and they'll suddenly have this like super success, like super fast. Well, why did they do that? Because they were in alignment and they were in flow with themselves. And they were coming from that part of them that is passionate and that is connected, right? That is connected to the inner realm of themselves. And when you are radiating out like that, and you are thinking from that place, and you are feeling from that place, then you are magnetically attracting to you what you desire to bring to you. And that is where all the magic happens in your business, right? And whether you have a thriving business or not, you have the power to be in that magnetic vortex right now. Because that magnetic vort vortex is what is going to pull the business to you faster and the wonderful blissful clients to you faster and create more ease and grace in your day faster. It is from that place that everything is easy and joyful. And then you're not a hot mess that doesn't get anything done. Because <laughs> nobody wants to be that. So anyways, I hope that um, this message was inspiring to you guys today and I will talk to you guys later when I have another epically inspired message from the universe. <laughs> Alright you guys, take care. Um, you can follow me at arwin underscore love messages at Instagram or mclaughlin.com and I'm on Facebook somewhere. Alright, thank you guys. Bye.